Hello, Mr. So-and-so here, and today with a more or less an endgame PSA or guide, whatever you want to call it. Um, so all the important um, items we need for weapon augmentation, also armor augmentation, and um, also the very good decorations that we need for our builds, they come from Tempered Elder Dragons. Now, um, you get more Tempered Elder Investigations by obviously fighting them, gathering their traces, etc. Um, we can check my investigations. Um, so, the first Tempered Elder Dragon that you fight, and I haven't f finished that yet, is um, actually a Tempered Kareen called the quest is called Thunderous Rumble in the Highlands, so taking place in the Coral Highlands. Um, and so far I went through the quest between 30 and 15 minutes three times. And this is a full page of Tempered Elder Dragons from doing that quest. Now what you don't want to do is finishing that quest because then you can't farm it anymore. Um, you can also farm your investigations, but um, when you abandon, not uh, return from quest, not abandon from quest, um, you will have used the investigation up. So um, the quest here that we will have a look at now, um, you can do as many times as you like. So it's um, definitely advisable. Uh, let's turn down the player number just in case to not finish the quest right away. Now you want to start in the northeast camp that is the closest to Kirin and the good thing is that Kirin will be always on a very fixed route and even most of the spots where you gather traces of fur will be in the exact same locations. Now um, we're gonna walk through his routine one time so you get an idea. Um, there are several uh, wedge beetles that you can take advantage of to travel faster while you're following him. Um, you can of course also equip the ghillie mantle just to be safe when, when he spots you by accident but as long as you keep your distance and don't engage with him um, you should be good and you shouldn't trigger or uh, trigger him or make him aggressive. Now you go out here and normally you already find the first trace here. There we go. The footprints and now we have to see where they send us. There we have fur. Fur always takes a little bit longer. And you can see I already had my first investigation. So uh, from what the game tells us, the higher your research level for a monster is, the the higher you will also um, will also be the chance to get investigations. Now this time he seems to be really generous with footprints. Um, normally I would say here you would have received probably one or two. So the amount we got now that was definitely higher than normal. Very often there is a footprint here where he dropped down. And now it depends. Uh, you see that he walks in a circle and walks back. Sometimes he walks down here where you can follow him all the way down uh, where he will drop uh, more electric fur at the end. Um, of his uh, let's say round and then he will uh, go back up walk exactly where we see him now and back up to where we we came from so here will always be electric fur or electrified fur uh, but you get the idea then very often you will have some footprints here exactly there we go and then we simply follow him I got the end now. I missed it myself. There's a wedge beetle that we can use to advance faster, but on the other hand, you want to follow him with some distance, so you shouldn't be traveling too fast anyway. Now, more footprints. Yes, yeah, so far I really 
can say there's a pattern on how you gain investigations. Um, sometimes you seem to be very lucky, sometimes uh, you can spend uh, almost half an hour with only getting two investigations, so I really haven't figured out the, the system behind that yet. You will always have this footprint here when you follow him. And then one more up here. Then we can use the wedge beetle. And where he went up, we can't go, unfortunately. So we go up here. We go up here. So here I never found a trace or fur um, when you follow him upwards. When he goes down you will actually get fur here and normally also a footprint. And what we do here, he will spend some time on the plateau. So we wait here till he appears right on the ledge and drops down. And then we go up to gather the traces there and follow him again. There he comes. And you can already see left hand side of the screen it shows there's already a footprint. So there's one here. Sometimes there's a second one here. And depending on if you find one or two, um, it seems there's no trace up here. And if you only find one of the footprints, on this level there might also be one or two um, on the plateau itself. Now we drop here for more footprints. Very often you also have footprints here and you can see that we are already back on our old track. Yeah, normally you have that one footprint here. Oh, and this is definitely new to me. Um, interesting. I, I spent so many times with him and normally he goes back down where we came from. Um, not in this case. Interesting. Never mind. I will definitely uh, keep this video. Uh, so Whatever you do, simply follow him with some distance and it will always show you a green text when you unlock an investigation. So um, you can of course spend the whole 50 minutes doing that. Um, by the way, he seems pretty pretty big. I should probably try to kill him for the, for the crown. On the other hand, I'm not really well equipped at the moment. Um, but anyway, so that's the basic idea. When you farm this quest, you can... Okay. So that's definitely interesting that he goes to sleep. It was the first time for me. But um, anyway, uh, let's get uh, to some safe distance. Uh, if you farm your investigations, you can do exactly the same with your inve uh, Elder Dragons there. The problem is, of course, you will simply use up your investigations and they are always limited. This quest, um, your first tempered Elder quest, you can farm as many times as you like by simply choosing return from quest, not abandon quest. That resets you to the status before the quest, but here you can see you will keep everything you've obtained and return to base. And as I said, the quests that I showed you before, the, the full page of Tempered Elder quests or investigations, th those came from um, all in all three uh, Tempered Green farming sessions and normally I went between close to 30 and 15 minutes. So it's definitely boring and you won't hunt, you won't fight. On the other hand, it's definitely nice to be able to stock up a little bit on tempered elder investigations. As I said, 
the important items for endgame content like armor and weapon augmentations and the the high level decorations you will um, have to farm a lot of tempered elder investigations for that so we will of course now check out the investigation or investigations actually I didn't fully pay attention if it was one or two but let's see what they have to offer here manage investigations so we got at least one Teostra um, that's something so um, yeah if you have any questions let me know um, and from what I can tell there seem to be ways of farming Teostra temper Teostra by shooting stones at him and making uh, him move between two areas to gather traces but I definitely will have to check that out. On the other hand, this is a definitely a very safe bet, this quest, so um, better not finish the quest before you gather at least, at least a few tempered investigations. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.